Now to a story you'll see only on CBS News Miami. Our cameras caught police and code enforcement officers swarming a Lauder Hill convenience store and forcing everyone out. Neighbors say the business was just a front and wondered what was going on behind those closed doors. Their complaints led to action by the city. CBS News Miami's Larry Seward is in Lauder Hill with this exclusive. At 4.30, officers swarmed. Lauder Hill Police and Code Enforcement ordered everyone inside 12th Street Food Store out and changed the locks. A direct response to volumes of neighbor complaints and what police describe as calls to tackle constant problems. I come in this area. I always see a bunch of people at this store. City commissioners ordered this crackdown Monday. They revoked the store owner's certificate and permission to do business. A city spokesperson told us, quote, an investigation confirmed the store was participating in illicit criminal activities to include bookmaking as well as the sale and or distribution of illegal contraband. The owner took this order, shutting down his business immediately. He drove away without speaking to us, so we called him for comment. Voicemail. Please leave your message for... Neighbors like Larry Smith hardly sound sympathetic. I don't know all that other activity goes on in there. If it is, take it off my block. The crackdown uses an aggressive initiative Vice Mayor Lawrence Jabo Martin rode out to calm violence and crime near parks where people see and complain about threats to their family's safety. What we were presented with was a business that really wasn't operating as a convenience store. There was no product within the store. Uh, there seemed to be no... Uh, things that you would see in a traditional convenience store. Martin says the city of Lauder Hill holds regular meetings with convenience store owners to make sure they know what's at stake. They get a chance to meet all the players in the city. So it's not just to beat you up, it's to really enhance you to be a positive part of our community. Commissioners say those who don't can expect similar scenes if police hear too many complaints. Police here are investigating alleged crimes at that store. That include employees illegally taking bets through a machine. The store's owner could appeal the shutdown of his business, but it's not clear exactly what he plans to do next. In Lauder Hill, Larry Seward, CBS News, Miami.